mobility shoulder exercises. We will start with roll downs. Usual ones to start. Ankles together, shoulders back, put your arms under a newspaper. Deep breath into your lower part of your lungs and roll down. You want to be onto the balls of your feet, arch like someone, empty like someone's punching in the belly. When you're down here, take a deep breath in. Look at your knees, and as you breathe out, try to bring your chest closer to your knees. Feel the stretch across your hamstrings and your glutes. Another breath, and as you exhale, try and get a bit lower. Take one more big breath, and then roll up. Onto the balls of your feet, rolling up one vertebra at a time. And roll the shoulders. We'll do two more of those. Deep breath in, and you want to keep width across your shoulders as you come down, head looking at the knees. As you exhale and get a stronger stretch across your shoulders, you can get slightly lower towards the ground. If you can't reach and it's more comfortable to bend your knees, do that. You don't want to be grabbing your chin, your whole body must come closer to your legs. Then take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, rolling up, sucking your belly button to your side, following like someone's punched you as you come up, and over. your shoulders you're not hunching your ears like you're listening to something long neck like you're a meerkat and as you exhale try and bring your shoulders back bring your arms up but keeping your shoulders down so you're getting a nice shoulder stretch and a chest opener making sure your bum and your belly is tight while you do this you're not just relaxing and slumping Then, I'm just going to start with shoulder mobilization. So you bring your palm, the backs of your hands together as you come up. Then try and keep them together as you pull round and down. Same thing, keeping your shoulders down. Palms together as you come up. See how long you can keep them together as you go around, keeping the rotation. Two more. You inhale up, exhale, round and down. Other way, inhale up, palms at the top, exhale down, like butterflies. So you inhale up, exhale down, two more. Inhale up, pulling the shoulders wide back like you're doing butterfly. Exhale, you're bringing them down. Last one. And just roll them back. Okay, now take your legs slightly wider apart. Hands out to the side. You think of the Egyptian. You remember, walk like an Egyptian. Okay, so this is going to be an extension of that. So right arm up to the ceiling, open. Left arm tucked under, also facing the ceiling. Now, you want your whole core and body to be tight and a total open. You should feel a beautiful stretch across your whole chest, especially into your bicep and arm on this side. Then as you inhale, swap to the other side. As you 
you really want to get the mobility through the shoulder, turn it around. Pulling your shoulders down at the same time, so you've still got that width. When you use your breath, you suck this all in, so it's sucking like a corset as you exhale. Really feel the stretch across your body. Two more. Good. And release it out. You should feel quite, it's quite activating on the biceps, the shoulders, the delts. Okay, so now you're going to get into, as if you're going to elbow someone. You want to get strong position, bum tucked under, tummy tight, and you're going to pull your shoulder blades together like you're pinching a pencil for one, and then you release. Elbows square 90 degrees, pull them like you're squishing a pencil, but keep your shoulders down. I don't want you punching up and going like that. You want a long neck width across your shoulders. Two. And nice and slow. Three. Keeping your shoulders down. Focus on the longest line between your ears and your shoulders. Four. It's a small movement, just engaging the small, deep muscles. Five. Do it on the exhale. As you exhale, you pull your shoulders back and down. Inhale forward. Exhale. And forward. Inhale. Three more. Exhale. And pull the shoulder blades back towards each other. Inhale forward. Last two. Inhale forward. And last one. Okay, you should definitely feel that in your shoulders. If you need to swing them out, swing them out, because it's quite heavy on the shoulders, actually. Okay, so now you're going to get down onto your knees. Point of this, stretch out the hip flexors. So you're going to keep bum tucked under tight, uh, hamstrings engaged. So you, you're not going to drop down like this. You're going to keep a strong core as you reach back to each side. So start with your hands at 90 degrees. Same thing, width across your shoulders, neck long, and go. One's to the right, you're not dropping your bum. Holding this tight as you reach down, nice and slow. One, opposite side. Two, very slow and controlled, tucking your bum in and engaging your tummies. Three, it's not a big movement. It's a slow and controlled movement. You wanna keep those shoulders down and back. Four. Five. Last two on each side. Six. Remember, really tuck that bum in. You'll feel your tummy working at the same time. Because you're using your obliques as you drop to each side. Last one on the left. Oh. And up. Okay, good. Now, if you've got a fitness ball, grab a fitness ball. If not, I take a pillow, that works. So, squeeze between your knees. Uh, you want your feet flat, you never want them coming off the ground. Okay, so, shoulders down and long, spine tucked under into what's called the C curve. So, you're gonna inhale and then exhale, you're gonna roll back. Only as far as you can keep the circle and tuck your tailbone under, with within the shoulder, say like a apple, or squash ball between your chin and your chest. You don't want to be hunched up like this. It's got to be long and elegant. So you inhale up, exhale. If your feet lift, you've gone too far. If your back straightens out, you've gone too far. Inhale back up. It's almost like you're trying to squish something. One vertebra at a time as it goes down, and come back up. So you go, tuck the tailbone under, come back up. We're going to do five of these. So two more. Use your breath. As you exhale, it forces the air out and engages. The harder you squish the ball, the more it engages your adductors, which pulls up into your core. Last one. Inhale back up. 
Good. Now from here, we just roll back down and we're going to do the bicycle. So, hands up, opposite, elbow to knee. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Into the obliques. If you had a fitness ball, grab the fitness ball or the pillow. Same thing. Ball to the opposite side of the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Put it down. Now what we're going to do, you bring your uh, heels slightly closer to your bum, but hip distance apart. So you're going to lift your bum up nice and high. So you use your glutes to lift your hips high. And then as you come down, you use your breath. So you exhale and roll the vertebra, one vertebra at a time so they hit the mat as you slowly roll down. So you inhale up and then exhale. Slow and controlled like a bicycle chain hitting the mat one leg at a time. Keep your hands to the sky to stop your shoulders, using your shoulders to scrunch up. You want your stomach, your back to do the work. So you inhale your hips nice and high. The higher you want your hips, the more you engage your glutes and your hamstrings. Then you exhale. Slow and controlled as each vertebra touches down. You tuck your tailbone under and down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale. Think about bringing your hips to your ribs, to your hips as you roll down. Closing the gap, tucking your tailbone under and down. Last one. Inhale up. And exhale. Roll down. Using your breath. Breathe out through pursed lips as you roll down. Good. You should feel that. Just kick it out if you need to. Shake your legs. Now what are we going to do? As if almost like a reverse push-up. So keep your knees in the same position, but you come up one hand on the ground. So if you're not too stable, keep both hands on the ground and just do hip raises. So you can just go inhale to prepare, exhale, lift your hips up, bring them down. Exhale, lift your hips up. If you're feeling strong, you can bring your hand, put it on your hip to stabilize and try and get that strength up and a shoulder stretch across your shoulder and drop it down. One. Three. So this is really good. You should feel a whole stretch across your shoulder. You want your shoulder over your wrist and you're using your glutes to lift high and get those legs as straight as possible. Four. And if you're feeling good with the hand, you can get a stretch on. Five. Then we swap over to the other side. One. Inhale. Exhale. Up. Reaching towards the sky, or hand on your hip, or just keep your hips together. Three, four, five. Good. Now, repeat that. We'll do it all again. Now we're going to slow the movement down completely. So you squeeze the ball, feet on the ground. Tuck your chin in, about a... Uh, Apple distance between chin and chest, shoulders down. Inhale and inhale back up. Exhale to roll down, tucking your tailbone under, squeezing the ball as if you could bring your knees together and come back up. Very important to keep the shoulders down. Everybody always hunches up. You don't want any more stress or strain in your shoulders after a day at the desk. Last one. And up. Then we roll down onto our backs. Now nice and slow. When your legs are in this position, this is called tabletop. You don't want to bring your knees any closer than this 90 degree angle, right? So what you want to focus on is bringing your body up and across to your elbow to your knee, not your knee to your elbow. Nice and slow. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Don't drop it straight into obliques. One. Nice and slow. Two. Reaching that ball or your hands past the opposite side. Three. Same thing. Don't bring your knee past the 90 degree line. Four. Five. I know your abs are shaking. Oof. Seven. We'll stretch the bar after this. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Whew. Take a breath. <laughs> and next we're going into the hip raises with a roll down. So bring your heels slightly closer to your bum. Hands, palms up facing the sky. Nice. Lengthen the neck, width across the shoulders. Inhale your bum up, nice and high, engaging the glutes. And don't let your knees flare. Keep them of a hip distance apart. Then as you exhale, roll your back down. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale up. And roll it down. One, two, three. Tuck the tailbone under. Four and five. Inhale back up. Really see if you can hit the vertebra one at a time. Two, three, four, five. Good. Two more. Inhale up. Really use those glutes to lift your bum nice and high and stretch across your hip flexors. Then bring it down for one, two, three, four, five. And last one. Inhale. Try and hold it for one, two, three. And now we're going to bring it back down. You're going to exhale. One, two, three. Don't let your knees flare. Use your glutes, tuck your tailbone under, five, and down. Very good. Now we're going into the almost reverse push-ups. So same thing, if your shoulders don't feel so strong, just do the hip raises. Remember, you don't want to be hunching, you want to get out of your shoulders while you do this. Okay, so, one, we're gonna do five on each side, or if you're just keeping your both feet, if you're keeping both hands on the ground, just we'll do 10. Otherwise, if you're lifting up, one. Remember, shoulder over hand, reaching up. And two. Same thing, the more you engage your glutes, the more you straighten your legs, the more you get a stretch across your whole shoulder and whole body. Three. Four. Last one on this side. And five. Come back down. Other side. One. Two. Come right out of your shoulder if you can. Three. Four. And five. Good. Oh, you should feel that. Okay, next. Facing forward. You want your knees comfortably apart so it's going to be a bit of a, a a knee roll so they call this the windscreen wiper nice and controlled same thing with the cross your shoulders shoulders down it's easier to concentrate if you hold a ball or a pillow and you just focus on moving your knees from side to side it's a very slow and controlled movement but it's very good for hip openers hip release Try and keep your back straight, neck open. Okay, we're gonna do five on each side. I seem to be moving forward, not sure why. <laughs> okay, so hopefully your knees can do this. Okay, so the add-on, just keep this going and I'll talk through it. The add-on for this, a bit of coordination, a bit of strength. So you're going to come to the side, hop into one leg up. Then bring the leg back, knee between your arms, 
Cross over to the other side. Hop up. Strong push-up position. Arms corkscrewed facing forward. Then pop it back. Nice and controlled. Onto the left side. Right leg pops up. Pop it back. Left leg in between the hands. Moving on to the right side. Left leg pops forward. Right into push-up position. Pop it back. You must be in a strong push-up position. Neck nice and long. You're not hunched over like this. Arms corkscrewed round. Okay, let's do five more of these. One. Do whatever you need to do. Whatever pace suits you. Two. Three. Four. Five. And pop it back. Woo! Feel that in your arms. Feel that in your legs. Okay. Next up. I want you to get into shoulders over your hands. Knees probably under your belly button. Toes tucked under. Okay. So what we're going to do, you have your neck nice and strong, everything's activated, bums tucked in, tummy's tight, as you lift your knees a millimeter off the floor. So once you're there, we're going to hold that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, really focus on tucking your tailbone under, engaging all the muscles in your body, 3, 2, one, shake it out. Okay, so next what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift a hand or a leg, I'll tell you what to lift. So, ready, and lift your knees off the ground. Now what we're gonna do, you're gonna lift your right hand, just high enough to fit a piece of paper underneath, keeping the rest of the body in the exact same position. For five, four, three, two, one, put it down. If you can only do three seconds, do three. So we're lifting the left hand. For five, four, three, two, one. Right leg for five. Now same thing. You only want to just lift your toe high enough to pick a piece of paper, put a piece of paper underneath. Two, one. Left leg for five, four, three, two, one. Put it down. So the whole point of this is form over function. If you can't do that time, don't do that time. If it's too much strain, just stick in this position, lifting your knees slightly off the ground. There's no point lifting one hand and dropping like that, okay? It's got to look like if someone was looking, you couldn't even see it. It's just lifting your shoulder blade up. You wouldn't even know that I had a limb off the ground, okay? What we're going to do, we'll try the contralateral, so opposite hand, opposite leg. Um, some people actually find this easier than lifting the hands up, just because you're shifting your weight at the same time. Okay, but same thing. So you get into position, you lift your knees. Now we're gonna lift your left hand and right leg at the same time for five, four, three, two, one. Put it down. Keeping your knees off the ground, we're now gonna do right hand, left leg for five, four, three, two, one. Put it down. Whew, and whew, relax. Okay, that's for this. That's pretty solid. With, with that, it's almost like the plank, when you're building up the plank. You just try and do a couple more seconds each time to get stronger. Okay, so next we're gonna do, we're gonna get into the strong push-up position. Okay, so bum low. So you're gonna inhale, lifting your leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring it to your knee. Inhale, back to the sky and down. Inhale up, exhale. Knee to the elbow, inhale back up to the sky before you put it down. So it's a one, two, three movement. It's not just a one movement. One, to the elbow, two, back to the sky, three, and down. Inhale up, exhale to the elbow, inhale back, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale to the elbow, inhale up, and down. Rest by going into a nice little downward dog, getting a stretch over your calves, 
and your glutes and your shoulders really lifting your hips up to the sky I'm gonna do two more of those on each side okay so back to push up starting with the right leg inhale lifting up to the sky exhale to your elbow not dropping the ankle inhale back to the sky and down so quick point if this is too much to bring it to the elbow just lift it up inhale exhale drop it down inhale bring it up back down inhale up to the sky exhale to the side as far as you can go keep the leg straight inhale up and down point is you don't want to lose your form you don't want your hips to be dropping anywhere you want nice strong shoulders inhale up exhale to the ground inhale up and down two more inhale up exhale down inhale up last one and relax take a bit of a stretch when you really try and pull your chest to your quads you'll feel the stretch more pushing your sh your heels to the ground you'll feel the stretch in your calf muscle and you can feel it up into your glutes as you lift your hips to the sky right in the push-up position what we're going to do though this is a toughie as well but you're going to inhale bringing your knee to the opposite wrist you're going to lift the knee up to the elbow back to the wrist and down if this is too much just do one movement bringing the knee up to the leg but if you want the extra challenge inhale to the wrist exhale to the elbow inhale to the wrist and back inhale to the wrist exhale lift it up X, inhale down and back okay so we'll do four of those same thing if that's too much just do bring it up and across you just want to get that twist across your body right ready left leg left leg to right wrist up to elbow back to wrist and down right leg to left wrist to elbow to wrist and down last two wrist elbow wrist down wrist elbow wrist down and a downward dog now what's nice here is if you just bend your knees and you bounce very gently it just releases the hip flexors releasing the okay right so now we're just going to do a nice calf stretch still in the push-up position so you're in your strong push-up position come back and nice and slow you reach the right hand behind the left ankle if you can't grab the ankle it doesn't matter just get that reach back to push-up left hand to right ankle you can feel if you go on your tiptoes you can get the stretch up near your glutes you're bringing your calves down to the mat your shins uh, heels down to the mat then you get it in your calf Back to strong push up, bum down, neck long, looking at the ground, and opposite side. If you want to make it slightly more stressful or more intense, do a push up and then bring it back. Nice and slow and controlled though. Five more. One. Really breathe into that stretch as you exhale. Push up and down. When you're here, really try and lift your hips to the sky. You'll feel that stretch. Push up and down. Push up and last two. Push up and down. Once again, you don't need to do the push-up. It's only if you felt like making it slightly more intense. Whew, good. And while we're here, we'll just do a couple of cat-cow stretches. So just move your hips, wag your tail like a dog. I think that's what they say. Okay, so cat-cow. You exhale as you arch your back. So you inhale when you arch your back. And then exhale. As you really pull your belly back into the sky, get the stretch in your shoulders. Inhale up to the sky. 
really sticking your bum out and you do three more of these really suck your bum under tuck your bum under belly button to spine inhale exhale use the exhale it's almost like take off Whee! inhale up exhale strong shoulders you want lifting all the way up your biceps near your ears last one inhale feel that stretch and exhale Whew. okay then we'll finish off with a couple more roll downs to see whether there's any progress in your mobility of your spine so shoulders back tucked under big inhale exhale roll down nice and slowly one vertebra at a time using the exhale to see how low you can go when you're down here inhale look at your knees and use your breath to try and get that little bit lower then we're going to walk it out one two three four into a strong push-up position while we're here we're going to do not a push-up we're just moving our shoulders one to your spine following up your spine as you roll up one vertebra at a time and roll your shoulders neck back big inhale we've got one more of these as slow as you can be on the balls of your feet as you hollow up and over When you're down here, just hang down. If you need to bend your knees because it's more comfortable, bend your knees. Then we're gonna walk it out into your push-up position. Two, three, four. Find your strong push-up, bum tucked under. Then you're dropping your shoulders. You're not bending your arms at all. And you're pushing out of it. Dropping your shoulders, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Exhale, you're pushing them apart. Inhale to drop them, exhale to push them apart. Two more, inhale to drop them, exhale push them apart. Last one. Good. And you find your strong push up and you're walking it up. One, two, three, four. Look at your knees. Deep breath. One exhale, try and bring your chest closer to your knees. Don't pull your neck closer to your knees. You want it to come from your chest. Then on the next exhale, we're going to roll up. And one, two, three, four. Good. Well, that got me working. <laughs> Give it a go. Let me know what you think. <laughs>